I'm Jackie Yim, and I'm going to show you how to make your own laksa paste and then show you how to use it in your own laksa meal. Okay, why don't we get started? And as usual, I am taking a lot of liberties with shortcuts because that's the whole idea is to make it quick and easy and fuss free for you. I've got my trusty old commercial fried shallots or packaged fried shallots over here some oil and I'm using a red palm fruit oil because I think it just gives the whole product a really nice color at the end. Some dried shrimp. Now this is something you're going to have to find at your Asian grocery store. I get the cheapest variety. You'll find they come in different sizes and different price ranges. This is a fairly cheap one, usually kept in the refrigerated section of your Asian grocery store. And because usually you would actually mince it, it doesn't matter if they're big or small because generally you'll find that the price correlates with the size of the, the shrimp. Okay, so I get the smallest available. I've got some uh, chili paste over here. It's labeled as crushed chili at my local Australian supermarket. So look for that. I've got some minced garlic here and some minced lemongrass. Lemongrass you can use fresh if you like. Minced lemongrass you can find at Asian grocery stores, again in the freezer section this time. So keep an eye out for that. I've got my chicken stock granules, some blachan powder, so dried shrimp paste powder. If you can't find the powdered form, you can always get the block form and cut it into thin slices and then toast it under a grill until it gets crumbly. A little bit of sugar, some powdered galangal, uh, again, something you would find at Asian grocery stores. You might be lucky and actually find it in the Australian supermarket, but it'll keep forever in your pantry. So it's a good product to have on hand. Likewise with uh, ground turmeric as well. So I've got all the ingredients laid out here. I'm just going to mix them all together in a bowl. Let's put a little bit of water here just to soften it up a little bit. Okay. Okay, so we've got all these ingredients all mixed through in a bowl with a little bit of water. And now I'm just gonna hop on over to the stove and heat up some oil and I'm gonna fry this up. I'm just adding the oil to the pan here and just gently transferring the laksa paste ingredients. Now I'm just going to fry this up. This will take probably about five minutes. Now with laksa in Malaysia, there's practically a version of laksa for every state in Malaysia. So if you find that this turns out a little bit different to what you remember from your last holiday over, the, over there, that will be why, okay? I call mine laksa nyonya because it incorporates a lot of the traditional nyonya flavors and you'll see that when we start assembling this and making a soup for it because uh, depending on which part of Malaysia you're from uh, certainly in the southern part, the Nyonyas uh, down south in Malaysia like to have their dishes quite uh, rich and creamy with coconut cream now you know when it's done when the oil starts to separate as you can see here quite nicely and it smells really fragrant as well and what you can do with this once it's ready is you can store it in a jar and keep it in the fridge for weeks and weeks if not months. Part of the characteristic of laksa is that you should have a nice layer of oil in your in your bowl of noodles okay so I've just added a trickle of oil in this just to give it that nice glistening sheen so there you go, we're all done and I'm just going to transfer it into a bowl so you can see what it looks like. Okay, we've got our laksa paste. I'm going to show you what to do to make the soup and then I'll show you the kind of ingredients that you will serve it up with, okay? Just turning on the stove here. And I've got some water and coconut cream. And to that, I'm going to add some laksa paste. And I've got these. These are tofu puffs. A lot of people aren't familiar with them. You can find them at Asian grocery stores in the refrigerated section. And what they are essentially are tofu that, that have been deep fried. So they're kind of soft and cushiony, okay? 
they don't last that long um, once you buy them once you open the packet probably about a week or so and then you're going to throw the rest out because they start to get a little bit weird Now with my recipe, with my laksa paste recipe, I'm making soup enough for two and with my recipe you would want to use about half a cup of paste to three cups of water and one cup of coconut cream. And we're just going to let this come to a boil and your laksa soup is ready. Okay, let's talk about the ingredients that go into a laksa soup. Again, remember what I mentioned about the different variations of laksa in Malaysia. The kind of noodles that go into it is really entirely up to you. I am using uh, fresh rice noodles today, which is a little bit unusual. Traditionally, you know, your stock standard laksa in Malaysia, you would generally find that they use these rice sticks. So I've got some noodles and I've blanched these separately in some hot water and some bean sprouts as well and with my particular version of laksa which is laksa nyonya i'm using some shredded cucumber and i've got some fresh herbs here in malaysia we usually use what's called laksa leaves over here at asian grocery stores they might not understand you if you ask for laksa leaves ask for vietnamese mint okay unfortunately it's one of those herbs that's a little bit seasonal i couldn't find it in the store today instead i've got some basil here and just some regular mint We've got some egg here that's been hard boiled and I'm just going to halve it and garnish the laksa with that as well. So I've got all the ingredients ready and let's just check to see how the soup is going and I'll show you what to do next. The soup is boiling away, it's ready to go so I'm just going to assemble the laksa meal now. Just putting some noodles in here and some bean sprouts. And of course, if you like some chicken slices or some seafood, you can poach them separately and put them on top as well. That's the laksa soup. And I'm just going to ladle it over the noodles. With the tofu. I've got the egg here, I'm just going to halve it. put it in here, top it with some shredded cucumber and some herbs. Perfect. Well there you go, that's your laksa nyonya courtesy of Jackie M. You can see how quickly you can whip this up at home and you can keep it in your fridge and have laksa paste and have a laksa meal any night of the week.